A bunch of cool AI advancements dropped this week, and I'm thrilled to unpack them with you. We'll explore Elon Musk's new AI chatbot, Grok, Adobe's innovative AI tools for filmmakers, Runway's upgraded text-to-video generator, President Biden's new AI regulations, LinkedIn's AI career chatbot, new computer's personal assistant AI, Dot, IBM's groundbreaking analog AI chip, Amazon's strategic partnership with Anthropic and AI chip development, the current AI job market landscape in major tech companies, Alibaba's latest AI tool, and Apple's powerful M3 chips for AI tasks. All right, so first, Elon Musk has introduced a new AI chatbot named Grok, created by his company XAI. They claim it's even smarter than the first version of OpenAI's ChatGPT because it did better on some school-like tests. Grok isn't just about being smart. It's designed to be helpful for people doing research and wanting to make new things. What's cool about Grok is that it knows what's happening in the world right now, thanks to being connected to the X platform, and it's not afraid to answer tough questions with a touch of humor. The Grok One engine, which is what makes Grok work, beat ChatGPT 3.5 in math and coding tests. But it hasn't topped OpenAI's latest and greatest GPT-4 just yet. You can use Grok by subscribing to X Premium Plus for $16 a month, although it's only available to some people in the US for now. Grok is still being tested and improved, and XAI is focusing on making sure it's used responsibly and doesn't cause harm. They are serious about making AI helpful and safe for everyone. Musk's firm, which started up last March, is just beginning with Grok. Okay, next. Adobe is working on some cool new AI tools that might change how movies are made. They announced a tool called Firefly, which could turn scripts into storyboards with a click, but it's not ready yet. However, Adobe showed off other projects, like a tool that turns simple sketches into detailed drawings. This could help filmmakers who can't hire a storyboard artist. They also demonstrated a video effect tool that can smartly fill in parts of a video you want to remove. Another tool can upscale low-resolution videos to make them look better. There's even a tool in the works that could dub your video into different languages, changing the speaker's voice to match. These tools aren't available for everyone to use just yet, and we don't know if they'll be as big a deal as they sound. But they show that Adobe is trying to make some really advanced AI for filmmakers. If you're curious, Adobe has already released an AI image generator called Firefly, which you can try now. All right, now Runway, an AI video company from New York, has updated their Gen 2 text-to-video generator, and it's a big improvement. Now, the videos it creates look much more real. Before, you had to start with an actual video, but with Gen 2, you just type what you want, and it makes a video that can last up to 18 seconds. The video is clearer, and the movements are smoother. There's also a cool feature that lets you control how the camera moves, like in a real film. Videos look so lifelike that creative folks are using them to make music videos and short films. Runway's founder is thrilled, saying this change is huge because the AI makes up new content instead of just doing what a person says. But in Hollywood, people are worried about how AI might change the industry or affect actors' jobs. For now, everyone in the AI scene is celebrating this big step, and it's clear that the way we make movies might be changing fast. Next, on the 30th of October, President Joe Biden made an important move for technology by signing off on the United States' first set of rules for artificial intelligence. These rules are aimed at companies that create AI programs, like ChatGPT. President Biden, with Vice President Kamala Harris showing support, announced that AI companies must now thoroughly check their products to ensure they're safe and won't threaten national security, the economy, or people's health. During the announcement, Biden emphasized how AI is becoming a big part of our lives and that it's vital to manage this technology carefully to take advantage of its benefits while avoiding potential dangers. This action comes at a time when AI is advancing really fast and leaders from all over the world are trying to keep up with the technology's quick progress and the new challenges it brings. Okay, next. LinkedIn now boasts over a billion members and has launched an AI chatbot to assist users in job hunting. This chatbot acts as a career guide, offering personalized advice, and it's for those with a premium membership. It uses OpenAI's latest GPT-4 technology to provide insights on job suitability and application strategies by analyzing a user's LinkedIn profile. The company, part of Microsoft, has been developing AI features to streamline job searching, including automated recruiting and profile optimization. Despite the innovation, LinkedIn recently had to reduce its workforce, cutting 700 jobs from the engineering team as part of efforts to revive revenue growth. The chatbot, besides evaluating job fit, 
can also draft messages to potential contacts within a target company. LinkedIn has emphasized that they are committed to maintaining fairness and avoiding bias in their AI, considering the sensitive nature of employment and the past issues AI has faced in this domain. All right, now the dot AI is shaking up how we interact with technology. This little gem from New Computer is meant to be more than just a tool. It's like a pal that gets to know you. Unlike the chat GPT you might be familiar with, Dot is designed to become a part of your life, remembering your chats and using that info to give you a hand with your daily tasks. It can keep track of what you love, suggest new ideas, and even check in on you, much like a thoughtful friend. A reviewer who got to try Dot early said it felt like a helping hand for his brain, always there to lighten his load. Although it can slip up or be a tad too eager to help, those who have used it say it's tough to let go of it once you get used to it. New Computer is testing DOT right now, and they plan to roll it out by year's end, likely with a fee for its company. Next, IBM has created a new analog AI chip that is a game changer for the tech world. It's smarter and uses much less power than the AI chips we've been using. Traditional chips, which we call digital, work like tiny light switches that flip on and off to do their job. IBM's analog chip, however, works more like a slider, adjusting smoothly to different levels which is perfect for the complex math in AI. This new chip is way ahead of the old ones, being up to 100 times more power efficient and 10 times faster with tasks like recognizing images and understanding human speech. It's also really good at saving energy because it can handle memory better with something called phase change memory. This means it can remember data even when it's powered off. IBM isn't stopping here though. They're already thinking about combining analog and digital to make an even better chip. Although it's still early days and there's more work to be done, IBM's new chip could make AI cheaper and easier to use for everyone everywhere. This means we might soon see all sorts of new smart gadgets and apps that can help us in daily life, from health to driving and beyond. Okay, next. Amazon recently made a smart move in the AI world by partnering with a company called Anthropic. They're trading investment for expertise, with Anthropic agreeing to use and improve Amazon's special AI chips. This is a big deal because it seemed like Amazon might be lagging in the AI area, but this shows they're still fighting to stay at the top. Even though the part of Amazon that handles cloud services, Amazon Web Services, AWS, has seen slower growth, it's still making a lot of money. The AI chips, Trainium and Inferentia, are crucial for training AI models and for the work they do after training, like answering user questions. What's interesting about Amazon's deal compared to other tech giants is that they're not just getting an AI company to use their cloud services, they're also having them develop the AI chips. This could give Amazon a leg up in the technology race. Plus, Google has invested in Anthropic too, so they might benefit from any new developments. Big tech firms are all in on AI each trying to carve out their own piece of the future market. Amazon's focus on improving their chips with Anthropic's help could be a smart play for their long-term success in the AI game. All right, now these days, if you're into artificial intelligence, there's a lot of job openings at big companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Apple, and Meta. Microsoft has teamed up with OpenAI and needs folks to help with the new AI stuff they're adding to their products. They're even offering the chance to work from home. Google's racing to keep up with their own AI platform, Bard, but be cautious, they've had to let some people go recently. Amazon's playing catch up in AI and is hungry for new talent to boost their efforts. They're keen on office presence though, so you'll need to be okay with showing up in person. Apple's been slow with AI, but they're gearing up to hire and invest more in this area, and their commitment to AI isn't wavering, even if iPhone sales aren't looking great. Lastly, Meta's all about adding AI to social media, making bots that mimic celebrities to entertain users. They're investing big in AI, aiming to keep jobs in this field secure. Next, Alibaba has unveiled a new artificial intelligence tool named Tongyi Qianwen 2.0, aiming to take on global tech leaders like Microsoft and Amazon. This tool is smarter than its first version and is designed to handle complex tasks, write content, and avoid mistakes better. They've also introduced the GenAI service platform, which is cool because companies can use it to make their own AI tools without worrying about their data being exposed. Alibaba is a big deal in China for online shopping and cloud services, but now they're trying to spread their wings and compete more with their American counterparts worldwide. And finally, 
Apple has revved up its game in the tech world with new MacBook Pros powered by M3 chips, and this is big news for folks who are into AI. The M3 chips are a game changer because they're faster and smarter, which is exactly what you need when you're working with AI. These chips come with a neural engine that's way quicker than before, 60% quicker, to be exact. This means that AI programs that need a lot of brain power can run smoothly on a MacBook Pro. The M3 Max chip is the star for AI Pros, as it can handle up to 128 gigabytes of memory. That's a lot of room for complex AI tasks. So, if you're into AI, Apple's new M3 chips in the MacBook Pros are something to be excited about. They promise to handle the toughest AI challenges without breaking a sweat. All right, that concludes this week's AI news. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.